Oh, fish on. Fish on, there we go. Ooh. They have a fish. Man, trips like this are just really, really exciting to me. I have no expectations, <laughs> don't have any reports, or anything like that. I just want to catch some fish, test myself in an area that I'm unfamiliar with, just to see what I can catch. Water here is, I don't know, it's not terrible. It's about a six out of 10, I'd say. I'm starting on the non-residential side of one of these canals, just casting a quarter ounce death grip jig head and an H&H &H smoke red glitter curl tail grub combination i've had a lot of success with lately i don't know if i'll bump in a redfish bass speckled trout or none of the above anything's possible now this canal is really deep in the middle it's like 15 16 feet pretty steep drop off it appears from this edge i might have to switch to a 3 8 just to ensure i'm getting down very near here, the Pearl River is at crazy heights. Bunch of rain this past weekend. So I'm hoping that has forced some trout into, into these canals where the water quality is definitely a lot better than, than out in Lake Bourne and Lake Pontchartrain. But I'd settle for some reds and bass, that'd be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and make that change to, to the 3 8 ounce. Just feel better about it with this deeper water. So Chad Champagne, the owner of Matrix Shad, the inventor of Matrix Shad, even. <laughs> he fishes these canals a whole lot. And what he often does when the fish are not very concentrated is he'll troll. He'll drag baits to see what he can run across and try and pinpoint areas that are holding fish. So that's what I'm doing right now. I got a, a rod set up with that 3 8 ounce death grip jig head with a tiger bait Matrix Shad. So I'm just dragging that behind the boat while I'm fishing the shoreline. So I'm kind of fishing two lines right now. It's not something I do a whole lot. I really don't do a lot of trolling. I don't typically enjoy it, but I definitely see the logic in it. If I'm lucky enough to get something on the trolled bait, I'll just circle back and, and work that area. Casting, trying to see if there are some more fish there. Right now I'm just exploring with the H&H &H Gold number no. four blade and a Shrimp Creole Matrix Shad on a quarter ounce death grip jig head. Just beating this bank. Pretty soon I'll be up in the residential area throwing the docks. Got to figure this time of year, late in February, they're going to be spawning bass somewhere in here. So I'll probably be throwing a Texas rig when I get around those docks. This episode of Marshman Mess On is brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods. Oh, fish on, fish on, there we go. Not my favorite way to catch them, but it is a fish. <laughs> and it's a striper, a hybrid. Not what I was expecting, but <laughs> I'm just trying to catch whatever I can. All right, we'll throw him in the live well. See what else we catch. I don't think I'm gonna double back. I don't really care to catch hybrids. I mean, it was fun and all, but I wanna find some trout if possible. But I will keep that in mind in case things get tough. <laughs> desperate times might call for desperate measures. Now I can't flip my docks yet because I'm having to maintain such a pace to troll this, this bait, this search bait. And I'm just blazing by these docks. So I'm just throwing this spinner bait, hoping to bump into something. There is a nice grass line along this shoreline. When I cast too far, 
I definitely get clogged in it. Got all the ingredients for fish. Now, despite the fog, there's actually a little bit of a wind blowing this morning out of the southeast. I've been having it in my back this whole time, but I'm about to turn this corner. It's going to be in my face, which won't be ideal. Ooh, there's a fish. There we go, there's our bass. Black light zoom Z craw. Look how white this fish is. Tells you how stained that water is. Now he was right off that grass bed. Right here as we're making this bend. Not a big fish, but again, we're just out here for bites. So regular viewers know my favorite fish to catch are speckled trout, far and away. But man, the trout fishing has been brutally tough the past few weeks. It's gonna be one of those really, really bad springs, I predict. Lots of filthy, dirty, muddy water everywhere. And that just displaces the fish, pushes them out, become much tougher to find. Believe me, I wanna bump into a few today, but I'm managing my expectations. Just in here trying to get some fish to bite, be happy with whatever I can catch. And I enjoy this style of fishing, I'm not gonna lie. I'll slow down and work this dock a little bit since it's on this point. Ooh, there's a fish. Ooh, what are you? That feels like a good bass. Nope, catfish. <laughs> oh, nice catfish. A pig. <laughs> We're catching a variety today. Boy, did he smack it too. Look at the belly on this fish. All right. Worst part of catfish, freaking slime. They are tasty though. I never mind catching freshwater cats. There's gotta be some spawning bass around this dock. This looks too good. Beautiful house. Fortunately, the way this dock is positioned, I can slip behind it, work it from every angle. Hopefully you can see this ring of grass with some clear water behind it, some clean, ungrassy water, but it's obviously not very deep. Of course, it's an area those fish could get up in to spawn. Nope, no takers. Let's keep working the ledge. All right, so we got a freshwater seafood platter. <laughs> now we just gotta see if we can catch any saltwater fish. I know they have some in here. They've got to. Certainly redfish, if not speckled trout. All right, the wind's picking up, so I'm gonna go ahead and troll to the other side and work my way back. Hitting all this really looks good. Just don't like fishing into this wind. Now, I really should rig up a rattle trap to troll with. I think I'm gonna do that. Those are deadly troll baits. Let's go with this chrome and chartreuse. That looks good. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. All right. What is this? Oh, man, that's a nice fish. That's a speckled trout, I promise you. Well, I'm not going to promise. <laughs> Let's see what he... Oh, it is a trout. Nice trout. There we go. Oh, that's a good trout. All right, look at this fish. Look at this fish. Really nice speckled trout. All right, let's stop this motor. That is a beautiful trout. We're on our trolled bait. It's about a, it's almost a 20 inch fish. I'm gonna say he's about 19 inches. Really, really solid speckled trout. 
Now these are too valuable to me right now to keep them. And I've got some fish in the live well that I'm gonna take home and eat. I'm gonna let this guy go. There you go. Right. All right, I gotta tell you, that fish just made my day. Really nice speckled trout. It's been that lean this year. That fish like that really gets you excited. I haven't been fishing here very long. I got four fish, four different species, and now I have a clue at least to where some trout may be holding. So I'm gonna continue to work this and see if I can run across another this one. This episode of Marshman Mess On is brought to you by H&H &H Lure Company and by Versamax Corks and by Sportsmansoutfitters.com and by Cito New Orleans. And by Bill Lewis Lures. This for me is really weird. I feel like I'm tuna fishing. Just not what I normally do. And I really drifted away from where I caught that fish. One of the challenging aspects of shooting YouTube videos, you've got to be mindful of your cameras and getting the footage. When the wind's blowing, it just really blows you off your spot. So I got to get back into position. Right now I'm in 31 feet of water. That's, that's not, uh, <laughs> not exactly a prime trout depth. All right, now we're coming up the shelf. We're in now 12 feet of water, so I'm gonna make the turn 10 feet and work our way back. All right, I'm making another pass where I caught that trout. We'll see what happens on this pass. If I get all the way to that house at the end and don't get a bite, I'm gonna work my way back. Fish on the shoreline for bass and reds and catfish and hybrids and whatever else and throw it out for trout. Water here is uh, around 10, 10 and a half feet. This is right about where I got that bite. Ooh, there's a fish. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think it's another trout. Yep, nice trout, nice trout. All right, all right. Not as big as the last, but definitely a good fish. <laughs> so I passed through there. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this guy. I passed through there. That made a bunch of casts. Couldn't catch them casting, but definitely got them trolling. And like the last trout, I'm gonna let this dude go. All right, Skippy, see you around. Come on, come on. There you go. Man, it's gotten to where we got a troll for speckled trout. <laughs> Whatever it takes, times is hard. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to so be notified whenever we post a new video. If you haven't done so yet, click the join button to become a member of Marshman Masson. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. <laughs>